But first, breaking news. Now at 9 o'clock, we are learning that Rayshard Brooks and the woman accused of burning down the Wendy's where he was shot and killed knew each other. Natalie White was taken into custody today and booked into the Fulton County Jail. Her arrest comes on the same day Brooks was laid to rest. Hundreds gathered for a funeral at Ebenezer Baptist Church this afternoon. Brooks was shot and killed by an Atlanta police officer earlier this month. CBS 46's Barmel Lyons is live tonight at the Fulton County Jail where Natalie White is being held and Barmel, you spoke with her attorney. Yes, that's right, Alicia. I spoke with her attorney who says she surrendered and now she's here in the Fulton County Jail. Take a listen. Natalie White, the woman wanted for setting fire to the Wendy's where Rashard Brooks was killed, has surrendered to police. Atlanta Fire Arson investigators tweeting out that with assistance from the Gwinnett County Police Department and the Fulton County Fugitive Task Force, Natalie White has been taken into custody. Arson's not a victimless crime. It costs us all whenever structures are burned like that. White's attorney Drew Feinling says she's innocent. She is not responsible for starting any fire. Feinling says the viral video circulating speaks for itself. Looked at countless angles of it and when you um, still shot it, you could see the Wendy's is completely on fire um, when she walks up to it. Um, so any notion, um, any inference, any statement that she started a fire is actually just silliness. Brooks told police White was his girlfriend. Oh, no, it's just a daiquiri. It's just a daiquiri. Yes. All right. So and Natalie White. According to White's attorney, the woman's Brooks references is her. She is Natalie White, uh, and so I will confirm she is the Natalie White that's obviously referenced. Regarding the extent of, of their friendship and their relationship, um, out of uh, deference to um, Mr. Brooks's family, who I know this has been a really difficult day um, for his family, um, I'm just not going to talk about that. Now, according to the attorney for the Brooks family, they state they were unaware of the connection between Brooks and Natalie White. More information coming in the 11. I'm Barma Lyons in Atlanta, CBS 46 News.